At the junction of Magazine Gap Road and Peak Road, there had been a giant monument that once perched on Mount Cameron. It was a shrine erected by the Japanese army during their operation. It was Chiruto, or the Japanese War Memorial. Overlooking the Victoria Harbour, it was meant to be a symbol of power. The granite foundation of the site can still be found today. Chirito, the memorial site to Japanese soldiers who died in the battle, was supposed to be a massive structure of 80 meters high and 900 tons in weight. It would have been the biggest Chirito in East Asia at that time. February 26, 1947, at 4.29 p.m., the half-built Chirito was blasted into pieces by the British government, which had taken back control of Hong Kong again. The detonation was also meant to wipe out the humiliation the empire had suffered. The British were determined to make Hong Kong remain a part of the empire. Yakao 信心在這裡 in 1941, Winston Churchill once remarked that should Japan decide to attack Hong Kong, there was nothing much Britain could do. He later backtracked from that position and agreed with the opinion of Major General Christopher Maltby, the general officer commanding British forces in Hong Kong, who thought the city was defendable, and the Gin Drinkers Line, the defensive line that stretched across Kowloon Peninsula, was a solid one. At 8.30 a.m. December 8, 1941, the air raid sirens broke out the eventual news to the people of Hong Kong. After all those years of lurking in the background, the Japanese army finally mounted an all-out offensive against the city. The Japanese Air Force sent out bombers to destroy all aircraft at Kai Tak Airport. Within minutes, the Japanese forces had total control of the air. At the same time, three units of troops crossed the Shenzhen border and descended upon the new territories. The lightning strike took the British Army by surprise. On the second day of the attack, Xingmen Redoubt, the major defensive point along the Gin Drinkers Line, became the contact point between the British and the Japanese armies. While there were only about 30 British soldiers manning the bunkers, the 228th Infantry Regiment of the Japanese Army was abundant in manpower. sneak attack. Within only five hours, Xingmen Redoubt was taken down.
嗱呢度咧就當年啊，日本軍隊咧個走井龍嘅部隊，其中一個支隊誒、呃、由若林東一率領之下，誒、呃、佔領咗呢度啦。咁若林東一咧由呢度進入咯喎，咁我哋會見到佢。為著要炫耀啊自己嘅勝利啊，佢就刻咗幾個字啦。啊，有若林隊佔領，咁睇佢咧一點點嘅嗰個啊雕刻嘅形式咧啊，估計係用佢嘅軍刀嚟到雕成啦。啊，比較特別嘅，我哋會見佢係用日文嘅佔字，就唔係我哋普通嘅啊我哋中文嘅佔字咯。啊，咁所以亦都睇到佢借呢個字啊嚟到啊顯示出。December 13th, Kowloon was lost. In the night of December 18th, the Japanese army crossed the harbour and met strong and bloody resistance from the British forces. December 21st, a telegraph from the Hong Kong government to Britain showed an intention of surrender. December 25th, the governor Mark Young, accompanied by the army's commanders, headed to the headquarters of the Japanese forces, a room on the third floor of the Peninsula Hotel, and signed in person the document of surrender. Yang Mo Ji, he is in the Dalian Empire during the Chinese Civilian War, he was the first Dalian Empire government to take one country to the other side. He was the first Dalian Empire to take one country to the other side. 誒、呃、另外一個家戰勝之後，剝奪咗佢，佢亦都瞭解到你因為中國嗰、那個誒、呃、民族主義高漲，依、这個當然就係佢喺集中營裏面可能感受到嘅一回事啦。知道中國嘅誒、呃、民族主義高漲之後嚟講，亦都瞭解到咧戰前誒、呃、當香港受到日軍誒、呃、侵略嘅時候，香港嘅華人啦，不管佢係英籍還是係華籍都好啦，都唔出嚟幫。誒殖民地政府去守衞香港，咁就因為佢哋覺得冇對香港一個歸屬感。On December 25, 1941, the Japanese forces took over control of Hong Kong. Japanese occupation lasted three years and eight months. 四年初究竟香港個市面係唔係好似我哋坊間所講，真係誒咁？誒、呃、民不聊生啊，或者咧，其實市面係蕭條，誒、呃、個營商環境係差咗，但係個市即係可以話個市場仍然係運作嘅。另外就係食物方面嚟講，其實當時已經有配給嘅，就包括咗啊米啦、糖啦、油啦、鹽啦，同埋柴啦，咁係有配給嘅。The ceding of Hong Kong to Japanese forces, though not entirely unexpected, was an image blow to the British Empire. Britain was determined to reclaim its colony. Why did the British Empire want to return to Hong Kong as a small point of difference? Well, it wanted to return to Hong Kong. I think there are two main reasons. First, the British Empire was the first to be defeated by the British Empire. 以軍事力量奪走咗嘅殖民地，如果佢唔將呢個殖民地收翻翻嚟嘅話咧，喺英國軍事史上面、軍隊上面嘅誒、呃、榮譽咧係有損。咁第二個更加重要嘅考慮就係話，如果帝國冇本事啊，將佢第一個俾人誒、呃、侵佔嘅屬土收翻，咁佢就會放出一個信息俾帝國裏面知道話，帝國已經冇能力去將帝國。維持整個帝國嘅完整性。According to the file. In the National Archives of the United Kingdom, there had been talks between China and Britain since 1942 on the abrogation of extraterritoriality that the UK had in China. Britain was insisting that discussions on issues such as the lease of the new territories should only come after the war ended. The First World War was a major impact in Hong Kong. 
，武星成為五強之一。咁而武星為五強之一喺蔣介石領導下嘅中國政府咧，好明顯地就希望可以收回中國以前失去嘅領土，包括香港在內。咁英國政府係非常之瞭解到蔣介石政府係有意收回香港，所以佢喺香港誒、呃、重光之後嚟講咧，佢整個政策上都係以點樣可以避免香港會被中國收翻作出一個準備嘅。The future of Hong Kong became a heated debate by August 1945. On August 13. There were rumors alleging that Japan would surrender unconditionally on August 15th. Britain immediately sent a Royal Navy fleet to nearby waters of the city in the hope of resuming control over Hong Kong in no time. Besides swift military actions, prompt negotiations sprang between Chinese and British diplomats. They argued about which side should be there in Hong Kong to accept the surrender. During the Second World War, Hong Kong fell within the designated China War Zone. The liberation should be carried out by the war zone's supreme commander, Chiang Kai-shek. But Britain was determined to regain control over Hong Kong no matter what. As the Sino-British negotiations went on, a British Army aid group agent was sent to get in touch with Franklin Gimson, Hong Kong's colonial secretary before the war. Gimson was held captive in the Stanley internment camp by the Japanese occupation forces. The British government hoped that Gimson could resume the exercise of sovereignty over Hong Kong as soon as possible before the British fleet could arrive. In his memoirs, now a collection in Rhodes House Library of the University of Oxford, Gimson told of his story. When Gimson knew about the impending end of Japanese occupation and the coming change of fate for both him and the Japanese, he was overjoyed and eager to wield his yet-to-come power. Gimson said, a senior official of the Hong Kong government, I request to resume the governance of Hong Kong. The Japanese responded by saying that they were unsure whether Hong Kong would still remain under British rule after the war. However, before the British fleet arrived, Gimson had already taken back the governing power of Hong Kong. I saw a lot of foreign documents, foreign documents, 负责香港的官员啊，啊，真系咧，时时都提及呢件事嘅，就系佢哋做咗几多嘢，佢哋做咗几多嘢。英国人以香港自豪呢样嘢咧，其实咧系已经系好深咁诶，藏喺当时嘅英国嘅政府嘅心嘅里边啦。佢哋其實咧係有一個好深厚嘅誒情義結嘅，咁所以咧當時嘅首相丘吉爾咧就好特別啦，對呢件事，佢直情咧係話咧香港對佢嚟講咧係一個 obsession 嚟嘅，即係佢係好迷戀香港嘅，佢絕對唔會嚇誒讓人家攞咗香港去嘅。During the talks about the surrender, it was thought that China should hold the ceremony as Hong Kong was in the China War Zone. However, the United States made it clear they did not oppose Britain's reclaiming sovereignty over Hong Kong. On August 27, 1945, the Supreme Commander of the China War Zone, Chiang Kai-shek, in a concession, authorized Rear Admiral Cecil Harcourt as the head of Hong Kong's provisional military government to take over Hong Kong from Japan on behalf of both Chiang himself and the British government. Britain did not recognize the authorization, nor did it protest. 
Major General Okada Umikichi and Vice Admiral Fujita Ritaro signed the document of surrender in front of representatives from China, the US and the UK. Then they untied their swords and also surrendered them to Harcourt, marking the end of Japanese occupation that had lasted for three years and eight months. Jung 盟軍駐港最高長官夏谷就要受命於中國戰區最高長官張介石英國人曾希望有這個情況出現所以他才死口都不肯接受這個中國戰區長官的命令這個是英文所謂的Agreeing to Disagree 大家同意去將不同意的東西不說了文獻一九四五年八月登陸在我的時候當時英軍重奪香港的時候當時第一個登陸的就是一個華人的海軍長官帶領一小隊登陸在海軍船上當時華人的海軍長官就是羅威廉他是一個加拿大的土生華人 事實上,加拿大在香港保衛戰役也付出了沉重的代價 Apart from the remains of the foundation of Chorito, one can also find Japanese influences from the existing government house, which had been refurbished by a Japanese architect during the Japanese occupation. The additional main tower was designed with many Japanese architectural elements, such as long and narrow windows, a feature commonly found in Japanese castles. The black eave tiles found on the roof are embossed with the chrysanthemum crest. Apart from changes of appearance, this former center of power in the colonial era saw substantial changes in the approach of governance over Hong Kong after the war. In 1946, after resuming his duties as governor, Sir Mark Young immediately proposed a series of political reforms. His reform plan could be seen from his inaugural speech. He called for political reforms and more democratic participation in the governing process. In the one year later, in 1947, Young was succeeded by the next governor, Sir Alexander Grantham. 
While Grantham shared the same goal of perpetual British rule, political changes in mainland China made Grantham overturn Young's plan. Political reforms came to a halt. Instead, the colonial government turned its attention to raising people's living standards and listening to Chinese voices for the first time.